what is vitamin B17, also known as amygdalin. It's a naturally occurring compound found in seeds, pits, and kernels of various fruits, most notably apricot seeds, bitter almonds, and apple seeds. Now, here's where things get interesting. Some proponents claim that vitamin B17 has remarkable health benefits, including cancer prevention and treatment. They argue that it breaks down into substances that can kill cancer cells while leaving healthy cells unharmed. However, it's crucial to note that these claims are highly controversial and not supported by scientific evidence. In fact, the FDA has banned the sale of amygdalin products marketed as cancer treatments due to safety concerns and lack of efficacy. Let's talk about where you can find vitamin B17 in food. As mentioned earlier, apricot seeds, bitter almonds, and apple seeds are some of the most common sources. Other sources include peach pits, plum pits, and various berries. But here's the catch. While these foods contain vitamin B17, they also contain cyanide, a toxic compound. Consuming large amounts of these seeds or pits can lead to cyanide poisoning, which can be fatal. So, it's essential to exercise caution and moderation. However, it's crucial to note that these claims are highly controversial and not supported by scientific evidence. In fact, the FDA has banned the sale of amygdalin products marketed as cancer treatments due to safety concerns and lack of efficacy. Before we wrap up, let's address some common misconceptions about vitamin B17. One myth is that it's a miracle cure for cancer. While some alternative medicine proponents claim this, it's essential to rely on scientifically proven treatments backed by clinical research. Another misconception is that consuming foods rich in vitamin B17 can prevent cancer. However, there's no conclusive evidence to support this claim. Cancer prevention is multifactorial and involves lifestyle choices like maintaining a healthy weight, exercising regularly, and avoiding tobacco. Now, it's essential to acknowledge that some individuals may still believe in the benefits of vitamin B17, despite the lack of scientific evidence. It's crucial to approach these conversations with empathy and understanding while also providing accurate information based on scientific consensus. If you're considering alternative treatments, it's essential to consult with a qualified healthcare professional who can provide evidence-based guidance tailored to your individual needs. Remember, your health is precious and it's essential to make informed decisions based on reliable information. If you have any concerns about your health or dietary choices, don't hesitate to reach out to a healthcare provider for guidance and support. And if you want to dive deeper into the world of nutrition, be sure to check out our other videos where we explore various vitamins, minerals, and dietary trends. Understanding the science behind nutrition can empower you to make informed choices for your health and well-being. Before I sign off, I want to express my gratitude to our viewers for their continued support. Your engagement and feedback drive us to create content that educates and inspires. Together, let's continue to explore the fascinating world of nutrition and health. Chemical composition, vitamin B17, also known as amygdalin, is a cyanogenic glycoside compound found in various plant foods, particularly in the seeds, pits, and kernels of certain fruits, such as apricots, apples, cherries, peaches, and plums. Metabolic process. When consumed, amygdalin is broken down in the body into several compounds, including glucose, benzaldehyde, and hydrogen cyanide. This breakdown process is catalyzed by the enzyme beta-glucosidase, which is present in the human digestive system and in some bacteria. Historical use. The use of amygdalin-rich foods and extracts dates back centuries, with some cultures using them for medicinal purposes. For example, apricot kernels have been used in traditional Chinese medicine for their purported health benefits. Controversies The controversy surrounding vitamin B17 stems from claims that it can prevent and treat cancer. Proponents of this theory argue that the cyanide released from amygdalin selectively targets and destroys cancer cells. However, scientific evidence supporting these claims is lacking, and consuming large amounts of amygdalin-rich foods can lead to cyanide poisoning which is toxic to all cells in the body, including healthy ones. Regulatory measures, due to safety concerns and lack of scientific evidence supporting its efficacy as a cancer treatment. The sale of amygdalin products marketed for cancer treatment is prohibited by regulatory agencies such as the US Food and Drug Administration nutritional content. While amygdalin-containing foods are often touted for their vitamin B17 content, it's important to note that they also provide other essential nutrients such as fiber, vitamins, and minerals. 
However, these nutrients can be obtained from a variety of other foods without the associated risks of cyanide poisoning. Alternative views Despite the lack of scientific support, some individuals still advocate for the use of amygdalin-rich foods or supplements for various health purposes. It's essential to approach these alternative viewpoints with critical thinking and to rely on evidence-based information when making decisions about health and wellness. Research limitations and contradictions The lack of scientific evidence supporting the health benefits of vitamin B17 stems from several factors. One significant challenge is the difficulty in conducting rigorous clinical trials to assess its efficacy and safety. Many early studies on amygdalin were small-scale and poorly designed, making it challenging to draw definitive conclusions. Additionally, contradictory findings have emerged from different research studies, further complicating the issue. Some studies suggest potential anti-cancer effects of amygdalin, while others show no significant benefits or even adverse effects. Potential health risks While proponents of vitamin B17 emphasize its supposed anti-cancer properties, it's essential to recognize the potential health risks associated with its consumption. The release of cyanide from amygdalin poses a significant toxicity risk, particularly when consumed in large quantities. Cyanide is a potent poison that interferes with cellular respiration, leading to tissue damage and potentially fatal consequences. Symptoms of cyanide poisoning include headache, dizziness, nausea, vomiting, rapid breathing, and loss of consciousness. In severe cases, cyanide poisoning can be life-threatening and requires immediate medical attention. Regulatory Challenges The regulatory landscape surrounding amygdalin and amygdalin-containing products is complex. While the FDA has banned the sale of amygdalin products marketed for cancer treatment, these products are still available through alternative channels, including online platforms and some wellness stores. This regulatory loophole poses challenges for consumer safety and underscores the need for increased awareness and regulation of potentially harmful dietary supplements. Alternative Treatment Modalities In recent years, interest in complementary and alternative medicine CAM has grown with many individuals seeking non-conventional treatments for various health conditions, including cancer, while some CAA therapies may offer benefits such as symptom relief and improved quality of life it's essential to approach them with caution and skepticism. Patients should always consult with qualified healthcare professionals and seek evidence-based treatments backed by scientific research. Educational initiatives. Addressing misconceptions and promoting scientific literacy is crucial in navigating the complex landscape of nutrition and health. 